What's going on guys? My name is Hussein and I'm so pumped for 2021 and the technologies I want to learn in 2021. So I want to make a quick video to go through the technologies that I'm most excited about specifically in 2021 and uh, I don't want to learn in 2021. And uh, here's the list. So the first uh, technology that I want to learn about is Enterprise Service Bus. Guys, Enterprise Service Bus or ESB is really revolutionary and I think it's a game changer. The idea of having multiple uh, system or uh, clients talking to each other directly is so archaic and the idea of having centralized system and having all your application talk to that centralized system and then that centralized system decide to talk to their application is game changer and I'm so excited to try this and the only thing that we have to figure out is the actual interface between the app and the ESB so ESB is gonna is gonna be a really uh, a game changer so I'm so so pumped for that so as for the programming languages I'm excited about says COBOL 85 is out guys so and uh, I'm really a little bit uh, skeptic in this uh, regards because I'm really used to COBOL 84 and then the syntax there and they I heard that the syntax has changed in 85 but I think the investment of learning the new syntax uh, uh, with regard to the languages and the features that I'm gonna get is is really uh, is gonna pay out. It's gonna be very very rewarding. So so pumped for uh, COBOL 85 guys. So another messaging format that is new and uh, is gonna be XML extended markup language. Guys, for the longest time, if I sniff. Uh, a communication between a client and a server what we see is just garbage so what we want to know is a message format that is human readable so like you and me can read it xml is perfect for that so xml extended markup language definitely a game changer uh, i'm gonna start using it in my configuration i'm gonna start using it when i spit out messages when i talk to uh, other everything i'm gonna use it in everywhere so so pumped for XML, guys. I know, guys, there is a, this competing message format. Uh, I think it's a J JavaScript thing. Uh, what was it? Uh, J-S-O-N. Uh, JSON? Is, is that how you pronounce JSON? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, uh, I don't think it's going to pick up. I mean, yeah, I, I, it's not really as readable XML. So it's going to die really quick. So the, be aware, of, guys, of this high bleeding edge technology, right? So don't, don't get hyped on, on this new things like JSON and, 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 I don't know, another thing called REST, I think. All right, speaking of protocols and uh, communication protocols, SOAP. SOAP, guys, um, some of you might have heard about this. It's a very, very bleeding edge new thing. Stand for Simple Object Access Protocol. So pumped for it to learn in 2021, guys. And what makes it more beautiful, it uses beautiful XML. So if I used it uh, to, to communicate between one and a client and a server, I can easily read those messages and I am going to be really human readable and I can easily parse it. Server, uh, the machines can easily parse it because it has a tags, marks, it's a markup language. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful with a P. I know, guys, there's a, a, a professor in University of uh, Irvine in California, I believe, that he's developing this REST uh, uh, representational something, something, something. And uh, he's gonna, he's claiming that schema uh, based, like SOAP, for example, right? So SOAP is a schema based where you have to define your schema. He's claiming that it's, a, it's rest, this the rest thing is a schema list. So I really can't imagine a communication protocol without a schema. <laughs> That's gonna flop really hard. So it's just, it's in the development. So that, <laughs> again, guys, be careful of these bleeding edge technologies. Just don't go near them. So yeah, definitely it's gonna flop. And guys, uh, for my, uh, I know I'm a back end engineer, but I was gonna give the front end engineer some love. So there is a new, beautiful, beautiful front end tech. Uh, it's called uh, Silverlight. Uh, I don't know if you heard about it. It's very, very new. And uh, Microsoft had developed it. So I'm so excited. The things that you can do in Silverlight, guys, mind blowing. So I'm so, so pumped with the animation. I mean, I even tried some applications. I mean, this you just have to wait 
briefly for the plugin to load. Once the plugin loads, just shh, the things we can do, the tables, I saw the grids, whew, you can sort and stuff, so magical. So I can't wait for uh, Steve Jobs uh, to bring this technology to the iPhones so we can all use it and uh, basically this is uh, yeah this is gonna end yeah it's, it's not like flash it's like a little bit different yeah i know both are plotted it's a little bit different yeah so you, you're gonna you're gonna know when you see it guys uh, if you're excited for 2021 let me know in the comment section now what technologies are you most excited for i'm so pumped for for 2021 it's gonna be an awesome year uh, i'm gonna see you in the next one you guys stay awesome goodbye